Welcome to EPG Patshala. I am Dr. Neeru Tandan from Department of English, BSST College, Kanpur. We are discussing paper 13th Linguistics and in this paper, the module number 17, Noun Phrase, has been written by Dr. Archana Singh, Government Bilasa Girls PG College, Bilaspur, Chhattisgarh. In this particular module, we are going to discuss the structure of noun phrase, why it is important, how to make it, how to recognize it, and what are the various other things related with the structure of noun phrase. That is the subject matter of this particular module. We'll also deal with the phrase structure grammar in general and noun phrase in particular. At the end of this module, learners will be able to define noun phrase. They will also be able to analyze and identify the noun phrase in any given sentence. Multiple choice questions, bibliography, YouTube videos will be helpful for them for in-depth and further reading related to this module. As we all know that noun is the name of any person, place or thing. Phrase is a small group of words that forms a meaningful unit within a clause. The traditionally progression in the size of any syntactic unit is word or phrase clause. It means a single word cannot be a phrase. Many modern linguists deny such restrictions. According to them, a phrase can be a word or combination of words. For example, she liked someone. Ram joined the club. In the above sentences, she is the pronoun and Ram is the noun and they are considered to be noun phrases. Syntax is a set of rules that govern the structure of sentences in a given language in order to convey a complete thought. A basic feature of a language's syntax is the sequence in which the subject or subjects, verb and object usually appear in sentences. Over 85% of the languages usually place the subject first, either in the sequence subject verb object or the sequence subject object verb. In ancient India, Panini's Ashtadhai deals with the syntactic theory. Noam Chomsky, the father of modern linguistics, has given a new approach to language in his revolutionary book, Syntactic Structure. In this revolutionary book, Chomsky has given the models of grammar, finite, state grammar, phrase structure, grammar and transformational grammar. The finite state grammar is the most basic and elementary and is full of inadequacies. The phrase structure grammar is rather advanced in explaining the rules of grammar. In the fourth chapter of this book of Chomsky, he discussed phrase structures in detail. Now, what is this phrase structure and what are the rules? A sentence is a linear sequence of elements. The purpose of this phrase structure rule is to identify these elements and to classify them. In a sentence, we have noun phrase and a verb phrase. Sentence consists of a noun phrase and verb phrase both. Noun, as we said, is a name of a person, place or thing and phrase a small group of words having a meaningful unit within a clause. So just we say that Rita liked someone. Rita is a noun phrase over here. Noun phrase or nominal phrase, NP is known as that, has a noun as its head word, which performs the function of a phrase. In NP, a noun can be identified by removing all other words from the phrase without damaging the sentence structure. Such words are called head words. By removing this head word, the sentence structure is damaged and we are left with no meaning. For example, my new blue sari is very attractive. If I remove my new blue sari, if sari is removed, which is the head word, then this 
सेंटेंस हैज नो मीनिंग सपोज आई से माई न्यू ब्लू इज वेरी अट्रैक्टिव सो दैट कंटेन्स दैट कन्वेज नो मीनिंग सो हियर सारी इज द हेड वर्ड एंड दैट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट माई न्यू ब्लू सारी वेन इन द एब मैंशन एग्जाम्पल इफ माई न्यू और ब्लू वर्ड्स आर रिमूव फ्रॉम द सेंटेंसेज इट वोंट मेक एनी डिफरेंस इन द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द सेंटेंस इफ आई से न्यू ब्लू सारी इज वेरी अट्रैक्टिव even then it is good my blue sari is very attractive even then or i say blue sari is very attractive even then it is good enough but once you remove sari then the sentence loses its meaning sari is removed it would not only damage the structure of the sentence but also the meaning so hence sari is the head word there are two components of the noun phrase one is determiner known as det and another is modifier known as mod now you see in this diagram that various components of the noun phrase are there as i discussed that determiner and modifier determiners a determiner is a word phrase or affix that occurs together with a noun or noun phrase in the context determiners can be divided into following categories predeterminers central determiners and post determiners predeterminers are a type of determiners that co-occur with determiners and precede other determiners in a noun phrase they generally do not co-occur these are the components of noun phrase that you can see in the middle we have predeterminer and rest are the components so they are four components like expressing proportion multiplying expression fraction and exclamative now predeterminers also have expressing proportion they are used to express proportion of the whole all the boys ran away both the ladies are not talking to me this all the boys and both the ladies show just express the proportion of the whole predeterminers also has multiplying expressions they are used to multiply the quantity of the noun double the books this double is the multiplication fraction they show the fraction of number 1/3 of the salary will be given to relief fund this 1/3 is the fraction of the whole then we have predeterminers as exclamative they are used to show the exclamation what a beautiful building it is wow what a day so this is something exclamation now predeterminers perform very peculiar function they demonstrate a speaker's or writer's opinion about the quantitative of the noun from this tree diagram you can see we have noun phrase that is predetermination then the double and then we have noun phrase determination and the noun the books double the books so that has been divided and explained now predeterminers perform very peculiar function we already told you now how you can see that they demonstrate a speaker's or writer's opinion about the quantitative of the noun all the boys are sitting in the room you see we are talking about all the boys the complete number the complete whole not a part they often are used to show surprise as i told you or intensify other kind of emotions what a beautiful house so that is the exclamation often are used to show surprise or intensify other kind of emotions that i told and so this is a peculiar function of predeterminer then after predeterminer we have central determiners central determiners are used before a post determiners or a noun in a sentence and preceded by a predeterminer they also do not co occur central determiners are of the three types articles possessives and demonstratives you see central determiners and all the three in this figure they are the components of the noun phrase articles the most common central determiners are the definite article the and the indefinite articles a and an all the five men went home possessives some possessive pronouns can occupy the central determiner slot like all their final verdicts this there is the possessive pronoun demonstratives they are used to demonstrate the head words all those three boys are playing in the garden this those is signifying those three boys central determiners functions they give information about definiteness and indefiniteness of the noun or noun phrase as it is clear from this tree diagram central determiners 
they modify a noun or noun phrase by attributing position also like there they also indicate which entities are being referred to all those last books are mine so these those is the word that is a determiner's function and it shows that clearly now let us talk about post determiners as we have just uh, already pre determiners central determiners and now we are talking about post determiners they follow the determiners and precede the adjectives while adjectives can occur in any order post determiners have fixed positions they can co occur in a sentence we must note it down that such is not the case in the pre determiners and central determiners they cannot co occur but in post determiner they can co occur in a sentence post determiners are also of the three types ordinals cardinals and quantifiers it is clear from this particular diagram and ordinals determiners are used to tell the order of the noun or the noun phrase they tell us level or position in a group all those last boys are going out of the school when i said all those those is the central one all is the pre determiner and here the last is the post determiner all those last boys are going out of the school then we have cardinals cardinal determiners are used in counting to indicate quantity of noun or noun phrase the first four girls will be selected how many four that is cardinal then we have quantifiers quantifiers are also used as post determiners my many friends are coming for dinner this many is the post determiner modifiers a modifier is an optional element in phrase structure which is set to modify and add descriptive information to the head word in the structure on which it is dependent this modifier is optional because its removal doesn't affect the grammar of the sentence modifiers enable the writer to pack a lot of information into a limited number of words thus making the style more concise and more effective modifiers can be divided into two categories pre modifiers and post modifiers pre modifiers are placed before the head word they can be an adjective or a noun and describe or restrict its meaning in some way this is a pink house this pink is pre modifier pre modifier are sometimes adjectives modified by other adjectives this is a lovely pink house pink is a an adjective and lovely pink is the pre modifier they are sometimes degree of adverbs modify adjectives this is a very big house big is the adjective and very big is modifying that particular adjective in a sentence in which two nouns occur one of them can act as pre modifier football match is going on which match is going on football match so that football is the pre modifier over here post modifiers are placed after the head word it follows the noun or noun phrase it qualifies or limits the bedroom upstairs this upstairs shows the post modifier noun phrase modifiers are grammatical functions they are five in numbers noun phrase adjective phrase prepositional phrases verb phrases and adjective phrases noun phrase modifier I, for example i have written a literary theory book this literary theory is the noun phrase which is modifying the head word book if you just remove the literary theory then the meaning of that particular sentence is just uh, spoiled adjective phrase modifier i make very tasteless biryani very tasteless is the adjective phrase and which is modifying the head word biryani now we have prepositional phrase the lady in the blue sari is very pretty in the blue sari is the prepositional phrase which is modifying the head word lady there is a verb phrase modifier also the boy singing the melodious song is my brother singing the melodious song is the verb phrase and that is modifying the head word boy there is adjective clause modifier also the lady who fought with me in the hall who fought with me in the hall the lady so this adjective clause who fought with me in the hall is modifying the head word lady so noun phrase 
we can say that syntax is the sequence in which the subject verb and object usually appear in a sentence sentence consists of a noun phrase and a verb phrase sentence is a linear sequence of elements the pr purpose of this phrase structure rule is to identify these elements and to classify them we know that noun is a name of a person place or thing and phrase is a small group of words that forms a meaningful unit within a clause so many modern linguists deny such restrictions and noun phrase or nominal phrase as it is known has a noun as its head word which performs a function of a phrase we know that there are two components of the noun phrase determiners and modifiers and they are further divided into certain other categories as well so they are expressing proportion multiplying expression fraction and exclamation as well central determiners are there then we have post determiners which are further divided into ordinals cardinals and qualifiers to summarize i will say that when you understand what is the noun phrase how to recognize that noun phrase in a sentence now you have come to know what is the head word and whether whatever you with this noun phrase is predeterminer central determiner or post determiner and in what sense then it becomes easier for you to classify the sentence properly and to classify according to the parts of a speech to express yourself and to use the adjectives in a proper way now you can watch the video that i am going to play in this 5 minute animated video you will just repeat and revise everything that i have told you in this particular module and it will not only be clear to you but you will be able to identify the noun phrase you will be able to write that and understand it in a proper way thank you for visiting epg patshala